While we've grown out, we've nitty bong. I'm Engineer Hoist. Welcome to our weekly Transformers Earth Wars news stream. Here on my channel, we record live Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash engineer hoist. So if you want to join these folks over here live, head on over there, uh, give us a follow, and uh, join up when you see the notification. Otherwise, we still do post the replays to YouTube on my channel. Uh, we always st uh, start off while we're waiting with a question of the day. Today, uh, uh, well, I usually start off uh, pretty positive with, with questions or whatever, but today we went uh, slightly negative, and that's so why I asked the question, who's your least favorite Transformers Earth Wars bot? And uh, so we got uh, quite a few good uh, responses in there, and I have to say I agree with a lot of them. Personally, I would have to say it's probably a toss-up between dust-up slash vortex or air raid slash slipstream for me. Um, but uh, we, had, we had a vote for uh, Monkey Prime, which, oh my goodness, how could you that be your least favorite? He's right back there behind me. How can that be your least favorite? I'm kidding. You know, everybody's got, got their way of uh, <laughs> got their way of playing the game. Uh, definitely did see some votes for Slipstream. And uh, Streetwise got a vote. And Sharksy doesn't seem to like anybody because he rattled off a long list of names, including Octopunch, Armada Megatron, Lockdown, Counterpunch, Off-Road, Cyclonus, Slipstream. So uh, I think his list of dislikes is longer than his likes. I'm messing with you. I love you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I did want to say, uh, give a shout out to Scary Dave. He said it's his first time joining us live, and he is staying up late to join us live. So thank you so much, my friend, uh, for stopping by here. Um, so with that out of the way, uh, we're going to get into the news and... Cat Gut and Lionizer, I've got them in my test account, so we're going to see how they perform in the game. Uh, once we get through with the new slides, may do a little show off of the uh, new characters in their toys uh, before we get into that uh, in-game action. Plus, stick around even later because I've got a bunch of crystals to crack because we got some in from our uh, monthly VIP gifts. And with all of that prelude out of the way, let's head on over and talk about this weekend's event. This weekend's event is called In Open Range. I think there was a little bit of a, a typo in the newsletter title, even though they did get this in the, the content, the body of the email. Uh, gather your alliance and take part in this weekend's event to win up to 75,000 Combiner Spark, up to 75,000 Combat Spark, and up to 30 Frozen Spark Crystals. This is an event... Uh, uh, this is an alliance uh, totalizer. It's a prestige event. There's 30 prestiges. It starts at the usual Friday start time, ends at the usual Monday stop time, and there's triple XP throughout the event. Now do you participate? You have to be headquarters level 4 and be in an alliance just like every alliance event. You hit the yellow event button, select your zone, win the battle, win the points, collect your prizes. The event battle zones are the standard battle zones. And here is a list of the prizes in each prestige. You start off getting 1,000 Combat Spark, then 1,000 Combiner Spark, then 1,500 com Combat Spark, and then 1,500 Combiner Spark. And finally, you get a Frozen Spark Crystal at 20,000 points. So 20,000 points per prestige over 30 prestiges means it's, a, what is that, about six, 600,000 to complete the event. So uh, achievable for most alliances. And, and if you can't quite finish the whole thing, hey, get as far as you can, collect as much as you can. And in those Frozen Spark Crystals is the same thing that we've seen in a lot of the Frozen Spark Crystals. You have an equal chance to win 5,000, 7,500, or 10,000 Spark. So that, that would be the standard Spark in the Frozen Spark Crystals. Now, taking a look at the new bots, we got a, we got their bios, although we didn't get updated uh, images of them, so we still just got these little paint-over previews of them. Um, but Six Gun, we've got their his bio, so let's uh, take a listen to that. A walking, talking mass of armaments and firepower, Six Gun is as bellicose as his name suggests, with a personality to match. Gung Ho doesn't even come close to describing the sheer gusto with which he launches himself into any combat situation. But though he can be brash, belligerent, and bombastic, he's as loyal and committed as they come, leading from the front and soaking up the lion's share of incoming enemy fire. Fellow Autobots sometimes misread his gruff, terse manner as standoffish and unfriendly, but the fact is, Six Gun saves his real self-expression for the battlefield. 
So very cool. And uh, there's no mention of it here, uh, but Six Gun was one of Metroplex's uh, minions, servants, partners, uh, caretakers, if you will. Uh, pa packaged in orig the original Six Gun packaged in with G1 Metroplex. Uh, this one is based off of the Siege Weaponizer Six Gun. There's no indication that he'll be doing any weaponizing in this game, but uh, but it is based off of that uh, that figure. And yes, G Grand Galvatron, his best friend is indeed Philip, uh, who is that it, which is the name for Metroplex in what is it? The Headmasters cartoon in Japan. For those of you who haven't been following uh, the stream or those uh, cartoons, so um, there you go. Trigger Happy is the counterpart for Six Gun for the Decepticons. Whereas some Decepticons are just cold and calculating, Trigger Happy is a genuine nut job. One of those quirks of forging who are really and gleefully bonkers. Did he get dropped on his head in the smelting process? Or did this streak of drooling insanity just come to the fore in the cauldron of civil war? No one knows, and for sure Trigger Happy doesn't care. The sound of gunfire, explosions, and mortar fire is music to his audio receptors, and most of it is usually coming from his direction. Unfortunately for his fellow Decepticons, that is, Trigger Happy is far from discerning when he lets rip, so the risk of friendly fire is high. So, yeah, <laughs> I love the bios for these two guys. Uh, absolute joy to read and just an absolutely just he's a genuine nut job and gleefully bonkers that I, I just I just love that description uh, for trigger happy and I mean with that with that he was aptly named apparently because you know trigger happy means he just lets fly with the uh, with the uh, gunfire and so <laughs> so there you go uh, hopefully they get some good abilities to match these fantastic bios. And uh, we've seen these guys for the last couple of weeks, these new combat bots coming, but we did learn something very important about them, and we'll be able to see it in action in just a moment. Lionizer for the Autobots and Catgut for the Decepticons. They are releasing this week, Friday to be specific, according to the newsletter. And uh, they both have the same ability, as you might expect. As a sword, they increase the regular damage of the bot that, that is wielding them by a percentage, which increases with their level and regularly blasts enemies in a line. And what you'll see in a moment, I've, I have tested Lionizer. It's essentially the same thing that Snarl and um, uh, Hunger do. When, when they're using their uh, special ability, they transform and they slash with their sword and it gets that little burst of flames or whatever out. Same idea. Uh, here's the kicker, and I think this is really cool. If your bot dies, these guys stick around and transform into a robotic lion or feline uh, and continue to battle on, very similar to Night Stalker or Ravage. So it's kind of a dual use here for these guys. They, they act as a melee weapon to help you out. And then uh, if the bot who's using them dies, they stick around and keep, keep fighting. I think that's pretty awesome. And uh, that's it for the news. Uh, just one last reminder for anybody who's watching the replay. There's the link to twitch.tv slash engineerhoy. So you can stop by Wednesdays at 8 p.m. to check us out live. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at engineerhoist. And uh, I, I post uh, f it, pictures of my uh, figures and various other behind-the-scenes stuff. Not super uh, uh, busy, so you won't be spammed or anything like that. But there is some stuff over there. Okay. So before we get to the game and test them out, let's go ahead and talk about real quick about Six Gun and Trigger Happy. I've got them over here. Uh, in, ca in case you missed the last video or the last stream where I showed these guys off. So this is the Siege Six Gun. And uh, uh, look at, looking really good. They did a fantastic job, as usual, getting the likeness of this toy in the game. And uh, just l looking real good. I mean, the alt mode, we actually showed him off and transformed him last week. He started off in the alt mode and got him here. And uh, the, the alt mode looks identical as well. So great job uh, getting six gun. And we also have Trigger Happy over here. And we, <laughs> funny thing, as I mentioned it last week, we actually saw Trigger Happy when we were first talk talking about the combat bots. And uh, because Blowpipe was 
Trigger Happy's Target Master partner in the original G1 toy and cartoon. I think it was in the cartoon. Pretty sure it was in the cartoon, but definitely in the toy. Blowpipe was the trigger, uh, the target master partner for Trigger Happy. So when I dug him out of storage uh, to show to have him wielding Blowpipe, and then sure enough, like two weeks later, we're actually getting him in the game. So there you go. And uh, if you haven't checked out Trigger Happy or his mold mate Slug Slinger in Misfire from the Titans Return line, these are some of the more impressive toys that they've actually released in in recent memory uh, because of the very fun transformations looks like starscream uh not any starscream that i'm aware of maybe like an armada or something but uh ask do i use combat bots you know honestly i haven't put my combat bots in play yet um but i, I definitely will be <laughs> at some point um Okay, so here we go, and because it's hard to understand for some people who've been making the comments, it could be because they see the amount of resources and the insane amount of coins and uh, Zed Energon over there. This is a test server, and this is not my live account, and I just wanted to make that very clear, so I added the little text at the top there. Uh, this is not my live account. This is only here so that I can give you guys previews of upcoming features. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> I had to get that out of the way, and I'm leaving it up there as long as we're on the test server, uh, just in case anybody comes in late and misses that disclaimer. Okay, so I'm not even sure where I'm going <laughs> right now because I'm still stuck on that disclaimer. Okay, so let's go into bat. Let's not do the battle yet. Let's go. Let's go take a look at the. Sorry, Prime, I faked you out there. Uh, so let's go look at the combat bots. And again, same thing with the test server. These five-star bots are given to us to test. This is not the live account. I did not spend hundreds of dollars to go get these yet. Um, so there is Cat Gut. You can kind of see him there floating around in his uh, sword mode. And Lionizer, same kind of deal. He's there floating around in his uh, sword mode. I've got him on Rook. Which, actually, I was just recently attacked by somebody on the test server who's uh, testing this out. And I noticed they had Lionizer on Rook as well. So that seems to be a popular bot. I also uh, dropped a Lionizer on Nose Cone, which might be a uh, pretty good idea, too. Uh, uh, again, because they're melee weapons, they tend to be equipable by warrior and melee fighting style bots. And um, I think I saw somebody saying that it cannot equip on Star Saber. Um, we can check that out if we go in here. I should have Star Saber around here somewhere. Maybe he's not that high yet on this account. No, so there we go. And that's not the button I wanted to press. Equip a combat bot. So uh, Star Saber still can only have Night Stalker. And I think that's largely due because of the way Star Saber is. You see, he's got his own special sword and his own special shield there. And uh, it doesn't really jive with the uh, combat um, combat bots who are melee. So he's kind of got his own thing. And I think Drift is the same way. Uh, so I, I don't think we'll be seeing him equipable on Drift. I'm not even sure where Drift would be. There's, there's a drift. So yeah, so drift is the same way. So I, I, I'm thinking for these guys, you're probably just not going to be seeing them unless there's some change that comes later. But for right now, you're just going to see Night Stalker and Rat, uh, on, on these two guys. And I would imagine their counterparts uh, are going to only be able to have Ravage. All right, so let's get into battle. Autobots, roll out. Okay, so here we go. We've got this squad here with Nose Cone and uh, uh, most of the, uh, a lot of beast bots. <laughs> but Sentius Magnus can replace the special sword given to him by Primus himself, says Grand Galvatron. All right, so so let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and drop nose cone in here first, and so so you can go. We can go and see lionizers. 
Okay, so he's walking up there. Lionizer is nowhere to be found just yet, but hang on. There's Lionizer. He's coming. And see, there's that there's that extra little laser beam or flame that, that comes out uh, with the, every few slash or whatever. And I do intend to have him die so you can see that Lionizer does indeed hop out and start battling. So there you go. So, so then he does turn into kind of like a little extra bot. Of course, when he's there by himself, then he's not going to last very long because I, I didn't level him up. He's still just at level one. So there you go. That, that, that's, that's basically Lionizer. And obviously, if I dropped him with everybody else, he would have uh, fared quite a bit better. Like I said, the intention there was to have Nose Cone die so we can see that uh, Lionizer does hop off and then continue to fight. Meanwhile, we've got uh, Night Stalker. Now, if you see a bunch of Night Stalkers running around, I was actually testing Night Stalker. I have multiple different levels of Night Stalker. I think I have one on Cheetor, one on Optimus Primal, and I I've got... I have all the different levels of Night Stalker atta attached to um, uh, multiple bots in here. Uh, and just to, just to see if you could indeed have multiple Night Stalkers at different levels running around on the same battle. And the answer is yes, you can. So, in case you, in case you were wondering, you can have multiple levels of the same bot on the same battlefield. As long as they're attached to different bots who are on the same squad. So th there was a glitch going around, like if you had Night Stalker out, dropped the combiner, and then came back, it would respawn a second Night Stalker. I'm not sure if they fixed that glitch, but that's not what this is. This is just Night Stalker uh, it, it deployed to multiple bots on this squad. The matter duplicator. <laughs> Can't wait to see a bunch of ravages and cat guts on the field. Yeah, you, you could you could totally do that. Like have half of your squad all have ravage, and then the other half all have cat guts, and then when when they when all of the bots die, you, you could conceivably have like eight different uh, of just the combat bots running around. Although if you've had your entire eight bot squad die from a base, I don't think those combat bots will finish it off for you. <laughs> But uh, that would be that would be interesting though, and I, I guarantee you, it will happen if it hasn't happened already. Where there will be a combat bot, Ravage, Night Stalker, Lionizer, or Cat Gut will be the very last bot to actually finish off a headquarters. It will happen at some point. I guarantee it. Okay, so so we've we've got another Lionizer here over on Rook. We'll so we'll send him in. Oh my goodness, yes, with all that and drop them with the, uh, the holograms like Dinobot and all the uh, the gnaws from, all the little chomp chomps from Gnaw and uh, <laughs> Soundwave or Blaster minions. Oh my goodness, you do all that, you're, this game will just be very, very slow. Deploy. Uh, somebody had, had to set off their siren for some reason. So there's Rook, we'll, we'll drop a decoy over there. Yeah, so, so talking about least favorite bot, somebody actually mentioned Inferno as their least favorite. I kind of like him. I, I do like this, like this extra boost that he gives with his special ability. It does come in handy sometimes. Then he's got, he also has the uh, freeze spray. Like right there. Blades is definitely one of my favorites though. I do like that he goes and does a, like a damage plus also a slow down and hack. Uh, very helpful many times for me. Yeah, so there's Rook still swinging Lionizer. Um, we haven't really seen much of him. And for a bot like Rook, I don't know if you caught it right there at the end. Uh, he does have a short range, uh, kind of like a flamethrower attack, 
uh, before he actually reaches uh, the target. So he will still stop and do that little flamethrower attack. Then once he gets in melee range, he'll bring out Lionizer and actually uh, attack with him. <laughs> Grand Galvatron with blades thinking of the Rescue Bots one. Yeah, very. I, I love Rescue Bots, you know that. I've talked about it many times. And yeah, Blades is very, very cool. But the different Blades. Uh, I'm sure the Rescue Bots Blades name, at least, was inspired by by this guy. Because they are both helicopters. And, you know, Transformers does tend to reuse names. Optimus Rodimus, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Go back in with these guys and see if they can handle zone 13. So I think that one base that we, we keep attacking is the only one <laughs> that they have in zone 12. I think every all the playtesters and everybody are uh, zone 13 or higher. This one looks like uh, somebody. I think he wants us to start in the center based on these arrows here. Well, let's not disappoint him. Deploy! Attack! What kind of surprises does he have for us? Nothing really, surprisingly. Lasers take taking out my squad. Well, and so is everything else too. Okay. <laughs> oh, but but look, there is Lionizer still fighting on. Oh, and he finally falls. Next time, freedom and justice. So see, there there you go. Uh, Lionizer could drop down, and he very well could indeed uh, take out the headquarters if I had caused a little bit more damage to it. Uh, Lionizer could have possibly uh, gotten the, secured the win there, but uh, alas, twas not to be. <laughs> yes, Red Alert, I, I, I'm sorry about that. I was trying to hit that the um, that beam laser with your attack, but uh, I must have mistargeted. Autobots, roll out. Let's try with these uh, beast guys again. Yes, we hear you, Grimlock. Yes, Michael's happy birthday to you. We'll give you a pass for being late since it's your birthday. Thanks for spending it with us. Okay, so this is smash time. So let's get in here and find out if it is indeed smash time. I think this would be a good time for uh, Optimus Primal to send some battle orders. Maybe send some... Uh... Dino holograms out there, maybe. So much going on, you can hardly even see. <laughs> Where's Grimlock? Oh, let's get over there and get that Grimlock. Ready. 
Got a couple of Night Stalkers over there on that uh, missile launcher. What are these guys doing? Oh, they're fighting uh, Razor Claw down there. Oh, there goes Grimlock. Okay, so those Night Night uh, Night Stalkers took out the missile launcher, so that's good. And we got a pretty good damage on the side, that side of those two things. Although, there's these guys are stuck down here. Let me guess. You're going to go down and get these build bots. You idiots. <laughs> oh, gracious. Meanwhile, Night Stalker is up here just doing his job. These other guys are slacking. All right, the Beast Squad plus Nose Cone got a victory. Well done. Is this what Skylinks would do? <laughs> yeah, that, that was uh, what Call of the Primitives. He, he, I think he said something about that. Whenever you choose to do something, think: Is this what Skylinks would do? Oh, Skylink it was uh, was such a great character. He was uh, um, very uh, conceited and uh, sometimes justifiably, sometimes not so much. All right, so you guys want to see uh, any more battles with these guys? Autobots, roll out. Maybe do one more with this beast, beast squad since we got all those night stalkers running around. We'll, fin we'll finish up this battle, and then we'll head on over there and crack some crystals. So many cats running around. Yep, even the uh, Lionizer, who is a indeed a lion, therefore also a cat. Now, reap the whirlwind. one was a lot easier than the last base. Did I pick a lower zone or did we just get lucky and get a easier base? There we go. Let's see, Scary Days asking, do you think Rat Bat should be a combat bot? There's a pretty good chance he will be because Rat Bat is one of the uh, micromasters in the... Uh, is it Siege? Was he Siege? Or is he Earthrise? But, but yeah, pretty sure there's a Rat Bat out there in that combat system. So pretty good chance that we'll see a Rat Bat. So there we go. See, I suppose... Let's see, can we see... I think we see can see them in the uh, showroom. Let's go see. Let's go find. Nose Cone's got Lionizer. So there, so there you go. There's there's Lionizer hanging out with uh, Nose Cone. So there, there we go. And, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and swap over to my 
live account so that we can go crack some crystals. Red Alert is saying, Rap Bat was siege, but since he has virtually no show in stores, hoping to come to Earthrise. Yeah, I agree with that, because I'd like to I'd like to get a Rat Bat. Uh, but yeah, there's there's no he just had that that's one of the problems with, with these uh, lines is like the, the, the last few waves just the uh, terrible distribution. And that's that that blame is not on Hasbro, that's that's entirely on um the stores because the stores don't order them and it may also have something to do with like the 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 people uh buying them because I, I know for a fact like the uh the stores near me uh like for example walmart doesn't even really carry the that that's the, the smaller ones and the target just has still has tons of lionizers in stock which was from the first wave of battle masters from siege so there you go oh got to turn off the test account we're not on the test account anymore this is the live account and uh, before we get into crystals I am going to bring back a combiner which I ju was just finished upgrading this is defensor he is now level 13 and ready to cause some major havoc for the Decepticons. And uh, in case anybody's wondering, Volcanicus is also 13, so is Victorion, Optimus Maximus is 10, Superion is 11. And I, I was upgrading a couple of bots, I think these were Decepticons, yes we upgraded the uh, three-star Decepticon Impactor. And uh, I took advantage of the two slots, so I had Impactor upgrading. I also have my Decepticon Deathsaurus finally upgrading at level 50. And you can see he's still got a little bit of time left. In the meantime, let's go crack some crystals. So uh, that four-star crystal is from the uh, last weekend's event, which I've been saving to open on stream. Uh, did get uh, four of those uh, Autobot Premium Crystals from the event, and the rest are VIP Crystals. I cracked all of the, the Shard Crystals because those aren't particularly exciting, and the Free Crystals. So let's go ahead and crack these. Uh... I'll crack the Autobot Crystals down to where they're even with the Decepticons, and we'll go back and forth and we'll finish off with that four star. So starting off with a Wheel Jack. In a mirage, red alert saying same. No smaller bots at Walmart. Seen the uh, Netflix deluxes at Walmart, but not getting any. Um, yeah, I never saw those uh, the cell shaded bots at, at my Walmart. I'd be very surprised if we if I see the Netflix ones. The only reason I'd see I expect to see the Netflix ones is just because uh, because of the situation going on and not many people being out shopping. But since I'm also not going out doing a lot of shopping, I'm probably not going to see them, which is fine because I really. Uh, not interested in those, like you said, except for maybe Mirage because he's decoed as a Decepticon. But you know, we'll see. If it's it's one of those things, like like so, some of the bots, like even like uh, Rodimus Unicronus. I was not chasing him, but I saw him in the store, thought he looked good, and walked away with them. Uh, so I'm not going to be chasing down the Netflix bots. But if I do happen to see a Decepticon Mirage in there, I'm, I might might leave with one of them. That's crazy. So the cell shaded ones are shelf warming near, near you, but I never saw them here. To be fair, uh, they really mess up the, uh, the ordering at my Walmart because uh, Dark of the Moon, it was like an entire aisle and it's shelf warmed forever. Ever since then, they've hardly ordered any Transformers whatsoever. It's been that long since that Walmart's really had any kind of decent uh, inventory of Transformers. They got plenty of Fortnite junk though. <laughs> uh, you could, you <laughs> Nothing against that except that it's taking up precious shelf space that could be devoted to Transformers. <laughs> Alright, so I wasn't even really paying attention. I think I saw Optimus Prime come across once. It's all duplicates, so it doesn't really matter. I think they're mostly two stars, too. 
This is the first Decepticon, and there's Viper. Back to the Autobots. And it's Hound. I think I saw somebody ask uh, about the about the combiners. Uh, Gunfire is asking, "Was my favorite combiner uh, first to worst?" Uh, it's it's a little difficult to say. I'm kind of liking Defensor right now, but uh, Volcanic is always ha uh, is very good. I like Victorion, and uh, let's see. Then then definitely Optimus Maximus is last, and Superion is second to last. And it, it's a it's a it, it it depends on the situation. It depends on how I'm feeling between the other three. I, I like them all. There's a Cyclonus, one of Sharksy's favorite bots. <laughs> Pretty sure we're going to be able to grab a three-star crystal here too once we get through all of these. Another hound. Let's see. Uh, yeah, somebody asked, "How do you put two bots in the research lab at a time?" You have to be headquarters. Uh, yeah, you have to be headquarters level twelve uh, for, to unlock it. Plus, then you need to earn the uh, Z energon. That's that pink energon from the elimination mode. And uh, once you earn, what is it? I think it's two hundred thousand. Somebody was saying, Grand Galvatron is saying two hundred thousand. Uh, you don't. You, then, then you can actually go and add that second slot. So, that, that is the one and only thing that you can use the Z, Z Energon for until you hit Headquarters 17. So, so if you're Headquarters 12 or above, go fight in that Elimination Mode. Well, if you're anybody and you have the Elimination Mode available, go fight because you get lots of XP. And uh, also, you're going to earn that Z Energon so that when you do hit Headquarters 12 and you, if you have 200,000 stocked up, Bam, open that second slot, and then you can actually start working through your backlog of bots that need research. There's a three-star Straxus. Scary Dave got a vamp hound out of a free daily crystal. Very cool. Big D's working on Studio Series Devastator at the moment, just waiting for Scrapper and Overload. Yep, I'm, I'm right there with you, exact same spot. Waiting for Scrapper and Overload. Down to the last premiums. Autobot Crystal gives us a duplicate hound! And the Decepticon Crystal gives us a... Duplicate Tarantulas. I don't see him very often. And uh, we do have a three star crystal. We're going to spend it on the Decepticon side. They have a slightly better chance of getting a new bot on the Decepticons with a three star crystal than the Autobots. But it's still a duplicate. It's a duplicate impact, which we just brought out of the Space Bridge or the Research Lab. And for the final moment, time for the four-star crystal. Oh, that was a fail. I, I did that already. It, sh it should have been set. Just do it. <laughs> it's a duplicate prowl. But that's okay, because I need those five-star shards. Ooh, we've got a G-Metal core. It's a slowdown photon. That's going to be nice. Go on one of my beam lasers. So that's actually pretty darn good uh, duplicate right there. Lots of combiner spark, five star shards, and a G metal slowdown photon core. Happy about that. So, uh, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, so I was going to go in here. So, so in case you were wondering, there, that's my status for the uh, next five star crystal. Still got a few uh, dupe four stars uh, to go before we before we get uh, another five star crystal. And without a doubt, 
I'm going for Legacy 4. It's going to be Alita or Ratchet because I'm stay staying in Legacy 4. I said it on the, when I was a guest on the official live stream. I am staying in Legacy 4 until I get Alita 1. So if I get Ratchet the next time, then it's just a guaranteed Alita 1 the time after that. If I do get Alita this next time, then I'll probably switch it up because Ratchet's not, you know, the, the one that I'm really chasing. Although I would not mind getting Ratchet in this next one. Okay, who's, who's leaving? Grand Galvatron, thank you so much for stopping by. As always, it's been a great time. Uh, have a great evening and week in whatever, and we'll see you in Discord. So... There you go. Speaking of which, anybody who's watching, if you haven't joined up, I do have a Discord server that you can actually join. The link is in the description of the video uh, if you're watching the replay. And um, if you're in the stream, uh, I think this, this, it's not, the button's not working. I was going to try to put a link in the chat, but it doesn't seem to want to go. Let's try it a second time. There we go. So there's a link to the Discord if you haven't joined and you are in the uh, watching live. Again, if you're watching replay, the link is in the description of the video there on YouTube. Um, uh, so apparently Sunstreaker Waz has got a Discord too. I saw that I, I saw that there in the newsletter. So if you want to go and uh, uh, join up over there with him too, uh, the link is in the newsletter. I haven't advertised mine in there because honestly I didn't think about it. Uh, but uh, for those of you who are in the Discord, I, I appreciate it, even if you're just going to be joining after this little announcement here, so. And, you know, I think that's going to do it for the recording tonight. If you're on Twitch, stick around. We'll talk about talk a little bit longer, uh, as we usually do. And, again, if you're watching the replay, head on over to twitch.tv slash engineerhoist so you can join in live. Plus, also, stick around for the after party where we talk about pretty much anything. Uh, it usually stays with Transformers, Earth Wars, or toys, or uh, pretty much any, anything that's on your mind, anything that's on my mind. Uh, but we do try to keep these recording... Uh, with the uh, Transformers Earth Wars. And with that, I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm Engineer Hoist Keeper, all of my friends, and we'll see you next time.